Hello, in this section of our Office Anywhere web seminar, we're looking at what solutions BT is offering small and medium-sized businesses to help them keep their workforce out and about meeting customers and bringing in new business, while also staying in touch with the office and on top of the paperwork. I asked Alex Bottomley from BT to outline the Office Anywhere product. It's a new product that's come to market. We launched it about two months ago, and it's called BT Office Anywhere. And it's basically a simple... Um, device that is Microsoft based so customers that are used to using Microsoft in their office will find this device very easy to use because it's actually you know replicates and looks the same the email and the outlook and everything to what they're seeing back on their desktop in their office so it gives them the functionality to use their emails when they're out their calendar when they're out and all of their contacts when they're out just as though they were in the office it's got voice calls included in it as well um, and data as well you can have unlimited data to help manage this issue of am I going to get a bill shock at the end of the month right okay we've heard a, a little bit about what it looks like but let's actually see what it looks like now we can, can have a, a look at this video which takes us through some of the points Alex, explain what we're seeing here. Sure, yeah. Basically, you can see the device there. You can see the size of the screen. It's a sizable screen, so you can easily read what's on there. That's the contact list. You can see all the different various mediums for contacting someone. Text, sending an email, I mean, this is all very familiar to us as well, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, yeah. Email in that way. You just click on the name, click on send an email, um, and you can see it comes up automatically. You can see the device is very slim, so it's very easy to just pop in your pocket when you're travelling, so it helps with that not having to carry heavy laptops around. So that's sending an email that you can see there. He's just sent that off. And he's obviously not peering at it too closely, so the screen, again, easy to read. Mm, yeah, quite clear, yeah. And this is the list. You can see the list of emails there, so very intuitive to use. The emails that have come in to you already. Yes, yeah, yeah they're on your, in, your, in your email inbox. It'll tell you on the front um, of your screen how many you've got, and you can just click in and scroll down and open the ones that you want to open. Yeah. And uh, easy to use for the fingers as well, it looks like, the, the actual use of the fingers on it, on, on yeah, the keyboard. Yeah, it's got a proper full QWERTY keyboard, so you don't have to kind of do this predictive dialing thing that you quite often do on, on smaller phones. We just saw there going on to Google. Yes, he's doing a web search here, so he's just searched on BBC. Um, so you can see that you can actually very easily search for websites, and you can see that the BBC News websites come up there. Obviously key, finding out what the uh, football results are. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. And that's the home screen. You can, you can format it in different ways, but you can see there, for example, it always shows you what your next appointment's going to be. So, you know, at, at one quick glance, you can see where you're meant to be next. That's um, going into a calendar appointment. And you can see where you're meant to be for the whole of the week as well, at a click of a button. If you click on a certain time on a certain day... It brings you back to, you know, you can see your month view as well. So you can see a month view or a week view or a day view. Yes, exactly. And you and can go details. into any meeting invitation. You can change it. You can forward it to people that you want to invite to the meeting. And it all happens in real time. Yeah, OK. Um, well, Alex, you've been nodding away there. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. use one of these. How, how do you find it in terms of usage? It's, it's really a nice little device. I, I do like it a lot. It's, it's, it's quite compact. It's quite small. It's slim, so you can easily fit it into a pocket. Um, it's actually not very thick either. And, and I've got some friends who've got Blackberries, and, and I'm quite like it because my Office Anywhere device is, is smaller than their Blackberry, um, <laughs> which I think I score some points on that. Oh, and, boys and, with their toys. Oh yeah, and there's a bit of vanity. You know, you put it on a table in a meeting, people go, "Oh, that's nice. What's that?" You know, it gets it gets admiring glances, and as you said, we all like admiring glances for our gadgets and stuff like that. But one one thing that was interesting there, when you first look at it, that the keys look quite small, and what I found is I've got quite shovely hands and. It's quite easy to type on it, actually. The thing is, you, you'd never type a report on it. And you know, as, 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 as Phil said earlier, for the, like the three or four sentence responses, it's fantastic. Yeah, well, dealing with that third of uh, emails that you don't necessarily have to worry about. Yeah, you can just delete. It's, yeah. it's brilliant for just clearing your desk before you get into the office like that. <laughs> the other thing that I noticed on there, which we, we've not mentioned before, it's got a camera, which you don't get in many devices. It's surprising in business how useful that can be, even though you don't, you know, you don't expect it to be. But another, you know, something I found myself using without expecting to. Ah, oh, well, not just taking photos of your friends in... Uh, well, you take photos of your kids, obviously, but, uh, <laughs> but also it's got some business applications. You know, you, when, you, when you go around and do store interviewing, you can take photos. And I know people in IT who take photos of the backs of computers 
you know, so, so it's like a visual record of what they're doing. The, the camera's actually integrated with the with the email functionality as well, so at a click of a button you can email it to anybody back in the office, so it's all integrated and very easy to use. So really, really useful. Mm. Um, what is particularly different about this product though, Alex, because there's lots of products on the market uh, claiming that they can do this sort of thing. Yeah, sure. One of the things that we've touched on already is the Microsoft environment because obviously a lot of companies are used to using that, not only in their offices but at home as well. The fact that it's Microsoft and it's not just text-based like a lot of other products is a real plus because you don't have to learn how to use it and it's completely the same as what you see you know, in the office and what you see on the mobile device. And the other thing that's a real new unique for us in this particular device is actually the, the mobile VoIP as we talked about earlier which is the internet calls which provides not only a huge cost advantage particularly when you're abroad as well but also the convenience as well as we heard from Phil a lot of companies you know they're spending an average eight pounds a day making mobile calls while they're in the office and they can do that now in a way that if they're fixed landline calls to 01 and 02 numbers it won't cost them anything and it's convenient because you can use your mobile because you've got all your contacts and addresses and everything on there. Alright, I want to look a little bit more at that uh, uh, VoIP or <laughs> voice over IP um, and talk about costs because we've all heard those terrible horror stories haven't we of £10,000 bills being built up by um, mobiles being used abroad. Um, Phil, is it just an urban myth or do people really build these sorts of bills up? No, it, it is very easy to run up massive bills when you're, when you're travelling abroad. Um, for small companies with, a, with an international business presence, uh, for sales force who are, who are travelling abroad, you, you quite often hear stories that their average bills can be £1,000 a month easily, so definitely at the top end of the scale you can go multiples above that very easily. If you'd like to know more about mobile telecommunications, then please watch the whole of the Office Anywhere web seminar or click on another one of the subject tabs below. Or if you'd like to talk to someone about BT's Office Anywhere products or any other telecoms needs, then feel free to drop BT an email at webseminars at bt.com or call the free phone number 0800 678 1260.